Hello, I'm here with another devlog video for my game, Kijimin Windborn Kin. Um, here I'm going to show you some of the new updates we have for the game and uh, what I've been doing over the last couple weeks. So, I'm going to go ahead and launch the game in here. Coming into character creation, I'm going to, I have a different motive for character creation this time, so I'm going to just try to get through it. So, select, confirm, um, select, confirm, uh, I'll take uh, that one, and let's see here, this, uh, this one, this one, confirm, uh, let's see here, disadvantage, take another disadvantage, Take my cause. My companions don't really care about it at the moment. Ally. Enemy. Uh, I'll take my transports. Confirm. Small equipment. Okay. So this is what I'm what I'm working on. I've been working on the inventory system for the game. So I do want to take some inventory items to test for testing purposes and take uh, two units gunpowder, I think. Um, bullets. Uh, some food, I think. And a one use item. Some like iridescent mail, confirm. I'm going to take one unit of cannonballs and one one cannon unit. Confirm that. Uh, don't really care about the artifact. And uh, we can take the default gemin. So here you can see that um, I have different ship sprites. Let's go ahead and uh, maximize the game here real quick. So I have different ship sprites, and so that's that's new. Um, I did all these by hand in uh, in Inkscape, so this is all my art. Uh, so this makes it mu feel much more like a game. And you'll see that the visual range the player can see is actually much larger now. So let's get back into day so we can show off the afterburn mechanic that I have added over the last week. So when a player uses their afterburner, the screen will come into tunnel vision. So I think that's a pretty neat effect. Uh, so that if somebody is traveling farther, they have uh, less visibility or less range they can see uh, before the less information they're getting from their surroundings if they're traveling more quickly. And that's what's going to be simulating. Another new feature is the inventory. So now all the items are tracked in the game. It tells you how many units of cargo uh, you have out of how many your max units of cargo. So uh, this player is over encumbered. In fact, uh, once the game is released, the player will have to remove units of cargo before they can move after character creation. It's possible during character creation to select more objects than you can physically carry on your ship. And uh, that's intentional, but uh, sometimes the player will just run into that. So if I go through these, the player can click on all the items in their inventory. They can also select an item uh, for jettison. So you see I have 100 units of bullets. So I can select two items, and uh, this uh, removes the jettison. So you can add and remove items from the equipment pool. So you can jettison, I'm going to jettison three items and remove three from the pool. If I remove a cannon, jettison the hit cannons, all the, everything will move over automatically. Uh, this uh, inventory is pretty robust. It automatically sorts everything for the player. So that's nice. Um, Pocotinese, black powder, iridescent mail, uh, jettison the item. And it's a robust system. Uh, this can support up to a thousand items, so uh, the 
player character can actually scroll through this. Um, I can show you how we can get that uh, to display. So what I'll do is I will, um, I'll uh, probably, um, actually I won't show you that. I don't think I can uh, without changing uh, some of the launch settings of the game because it'll overwrite with a new save file if I, if I do that. So um, yes, the game saves now. That's also another thing that we have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a save file, what the save file looks like. I'm going to close this out. And so here's the save file for the game. So this is a lot of data. Uh, there's flags for pretty much everything in character creation uh, and as well as descriptions for the key gem in themselves, which are procedural. So those are procedural uh, descriptions. I don't want to have to regenerate them each time. Somebody asked about that. Um, and yeah, so this is a, a human editable text file. Uh, any person could go in here and say, oh, uh, I want Opal Rand to be my ally and then and change them to ally <laughs> by changing the zero to a one. Uh, it's my game. If, um, it's going to be for sale. So if anybody wants to change their save file, it's on, they, they're free to do that. They bought the game. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's uh, uh, I got saving loading done. I have uh, inventory management done. Uh, the next part is going to be the ship equipment and armada control systems so stay tuned for that it should be coming within a week or two all right okay thanks bye